He heavy though. But that boy is short and compact for sure. Y'all see how thick this boy is. Loaded with the neck and shoulders. This mixed the neck and shoulders right here, y'all. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see that hump. He ain't even hump day, but y'all see that hump on that boy's neck, man. Stop playing, man. Uh -huh. It's my side or no side, ain't no in betweens. All my niggas sir that fatty, we just want the green. Load up them yappers, broad day. If you play with me, yeah, yeah. fuck my enemy. It's my side or no side, ain't no in between. All my niggas sir that fatty, we just want that green. Load up them yappers, broad day. If you play with me, yeah, fuck my enemy. Play with my paper, I don't care, bitch. I'm a bush, yeah. We got Jacobs, we got y'all, but shit we're in for it. If you play, I swear to God, and I'm gonna send them there. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? Queen City Bullies Aaron checking in. We back again, man. I got a surprise for y'all. Y'all see my girl Brown Sugar that made it into the weapon box, man. She dropped her pups early. Well, actually, she only had one pup, y'all. She had a singleton, but she dropped her pups um, on day 58. I really wasn't expecting her to drop for another like three or four days, but her water broke. Uh, and man, we had to rush to the vet. I had to call my vet. It was after hours. Luckily, they uh they ain't answered, but they called me back within about 10 to 15 minutes. Told me to meet them at the vet, and they ran a reverse progesterone test on her. She was like at a point three. She was ready to go, y'all. She was ready to go. I thought she had more pups in there. She actually had two pups. One of the pups was like underdeveloped. Um, so that one ain't make it. So we, we just had one pup. Like I said, she had a single tent. But man, when I tell y'all, I'm going to pick this pup up for y'all real quick so y'all can see. Look at this girl right here, man. Believe in Brown Sugar 2.0 right here, y'all. They definitely didn't disappoint. As you can see, this girl, this is a female, y'all. She loaded with the neck and shoulders already. I'm going to post a picture of her when she first, first came out, y'all. She is two days old now. She two days old, but... When she first, first came out the womb, she came out with the neck and shoulders. I'm telling y'all, brother. She, she swole, y'all. Full tail on this girl. She thick as can be. As y'all see, she got a nice head on her. Uh, I think she's solid blue. I'm seeing like some little tan flakes right here over her cheeks, but I ain't seeing no tan points in her, uh, in her rear or over her eyes just yet. But I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. But y'all see it, man. She looking real good. Looking just like her mama and her daddy loaded with them neck and shoulders, like I said. This is a repeat breeding. For those of y'all that's new to the channel, I did this breeding Believe in Brown Sugar about a year and a few months ago. And man, I'm going to post some pictures uh, or some footage of Incredible. That's my Believe in Brown Sugar son. Y'all can see how that litter turned out right there. I also got their sister, which is Sugar Bear. I don't know if I got any pictures or video of her, but I'll show her to y'all too. Look at that right there, man. Tell them what I'm seeing out of this girl right here, man. She looking crazy, y'all. That Believe in Brown Sugar don't never disappoint. For sure, for sure. Yes, sir. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this girl. She is amazing, y'all. Y'all see the neck and shoulders on that girl? Like I be telling y'all, man. Queen City Bullies be the home of the neck and shoulders, y'all. When you come here, when you get a dog from us, I'm guaranteeing it to you, man. You're going to go home with that neck and that shoulders, man. That's what we breeding for. That's one of the main things we breeding for right there. Y'all see it. They coming out the womb with the neck and shoulders. You hear me? Stop playing, man. I'm going to show her off a little more for y'all. I'm going to put her down, let her be with her mama. Y'all see her mama want her pup. Y'all see the chest on that bull. Y'all see the little short and stubby legs, man. Y'all know how I do, man. Look at that right there, man. Yes, sir. Loving the way this girl looking. Like I said, she was born Wednesday night. Right? No, no, no. She was born Tuesday night, my bad. She was born Tuesday night. So she is officially two days old now. Yes, sir. Loving what I'm seeing, man. She's short, compact. Got a thick neck on her already, as you can see, man. Yes, yeah, sir. You want your pup shit? You want your pup shit? Brown Sugar is an excellent mom. Like I said, this is her second litter. Uh, on her first litter, she ain't played no games. I ain't have to really do too much. But this time around, with this being her only pup, this should be easy work for her. This should be easy work for her. For sure, for sure. Um, I'm going to show y'all these... No limit pups. I'm gonna give y'all a quick update. I'm gonna start with this boy right here. Cause this boy, are oh, you filthy boy? This boy right here is the only male that's gonna be available out of this litter, or the only pup that's available. Actually, look at this boy right here. 
He got the little short stubby legs on him. He boned up. He got a fat old head on him. He looking just like his daddy, man. He looking just like his daddy. Look at that right there. That's crazy right there. He loaded with the neck and shoulders too. Y'all see it. Full tail. This is an exotic bully right here. Matter of fact, I want y'all to see this boy next to his daddy so y'all can see how much he looked like his daddy. I'm finna go get his daddy real quick. Hold on. Look at that, man. That's crazy right there. That's crazy. You see it, man. Thick as can be, like I said, man. Loaded with the neck and shoulders. Y'all see how no limit coming, man. Just like his daddy. Minus the tick marks. That's the only thing he missing. Crazy. Crazy. You see it. You see it. It don't get no better than that, man. It don't get no better than that. Short, compact, thick. Neck and shoulders. Fat old dome on him already. Look at that, man. Yeah, say hello to your son, big boy. Ah, he's heavy, man. All right. I'm gonna show y'all the rest of the pups here. Next up, we got this 50 boy right here. Y'all getting the bath today. Once the pups get this age, they on mush now. They ain't feeding off of their mama no more. So they dibbling and dabbling in that mush. They pooping everywhere. So, it's, and their mama ain't cleaning up after them no more. So now, for real, this is the part where I gotta take over and do everything, so. I'm gonna be giving them a bath today. Look at this boy though, man. This mug is crazy. He got the little short and stubby legs on him too. That boy is insane. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see it, man. No limit, son. Black tribe with ticks. This the boy I've been considering keeping, y'all. I don't know, man. Y'all talk to me. Let me know what y'all think. Should I, should I keep this boy? Should I go ahead and snatch him up, add him to the arsenal? You feel me? Look at him, though. He got a real nice mug on him. I feel like he got that no-limit stamp on his face. He got the tick marks. He got neck and shoulders on him. Powerful rear. Full tail. Y'all know no, no limit. He ain't got a full tail. But these pups, the whole litter, got full tails, man. So that's what make it even better. That's what definitely make it even sweeter, y'all. Look at that, man. Crazy, crazy. But like I said, I'm thinking about keeping this boy. I ain't sure yet. But y'all let me know if you think I should keep him. Drop a comment and let me know, man. Ooh, wait, look at the deep eyes on that boy. He got real nice eye separation on him. I like the little short, stubby muzzle that he got. As you see, if I turn him to the side, you can see how short his muzzle is. Man, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Loving what I'm seeing, man. The next up, I'm gonna show y'all the only female out of the litter. Y'all see, she got neck and shoulders on her too. This is a pie ball chocolate tri female. You can see the little chocolate on her right there. She got little short, stubby legs on her too. She bigger than the other pups, but she thick as can be, y'all. She got that mug like her daddy too. Look at that, man. Look at that right there. Beautiful. Beautiful pups right here. Full tail. This is, this girl right here staying with my guy over there at Hardaway Bullies, man. He is the owner of this litter. He own Oprah. Y'all know I own No Limit, he own Oprah. We collaborated to make this litter happen. Y'all see it right here, man. Heavy neck and shoulders on the bulls, man. Like I told y'all, man, we stamping everything with neck and shoulders, man. Y'all see it. Y'all drop a comment, let me know what y'all think about this girl right here. You see she got a powerful chest on her. Man, No Limit ain't play no games, man. That first time around, that first time around, y'all, No Limit ain't play with him. No Limit ain't play with him. Now look at this boy right here. Look at this boy right here, my goodness. Y'all see, he ain't no joke. Y'all see, this boy right here ain't no joke. I saved him for last for a reason, y'all. Look at the neck and shoulders on this bull right here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, man, when you breed the no limit, this is what you gonna get right here. Look at that right there. You definitely, this is what you definitely gonna get. Look at the little short stubby legs on this boy. Ticked out. He ticked all the way out. You see, he got a fat old juggernaut head on him. Yeah, heavy bone on the bull. Ticked all the way around. This is what you call tick tick boom right here. This tick tick boom for sure right here, y'all. Y'all see it, man. He ticked all the way out, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Full tail on that boy. Nice rear end on him. Neck and shoulders. I'm gonna show y'all the chest one more time. Look at them little short and stubby legs, man. Yeah. Yeah, and he can barely hold his head up, just like his daddy. So I know he's gonna have a fat noggin on him. Y'all see it, man. I'm liking this boy a lot. He is staying with my guy over there at Hardaway Bullies, too. So he keeping this male and that female I just showed y'all. Man, my boy over there locked and loaded, I'm telling y'all. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. That's amazing right there, y'all. This is what No Limit can do for y'all, man. I showed y'all all four pups. All four of the pups is looking amazing. 
the consistency is there, the look is there. He producing quality bulls. You feel me? These pups got an insane pedigree on them. I ain't gonna lie, I'm in love with this boy right here. This is a superstar right here. No limit producing, y'all. It's only his first litter. His second litter will be dropping. We on the countdown for that second litter now. I was just on the phone with my guy over there at, uh, at Rockdale Bullies. He told me that she gonna be dropping within a week, so be on the lookout for the cookout, man. We definitely going up, man. It's No Limit season, y'all. I want y'all to see No Limit one more time so y'all can see how short, how compact these bulls gonna be. Look at that boy No Limit right there, man. That's a, that's a, what, he like a year and a half? Look at that boy right there. Short, compact, thick, fat head on that boy. But he, he can fit right on my arm. Look at that. He heavy, though. He heavy, though. But that boy is short and compact for sure. Y'all see how thick this boy is. Load it with the neck and shoulders. This missed the neck and shoulders right here, y'all. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see that hump. It ain't even hump day, but y'all see that hump on that boy neck, man. Stop playing, man. Yes, sir. Next up, I'm gonna show y'all these French Bulldogs. Y'all don't go nowhere, y'all stay tuned, man. When I tell y'all these Frenchies, they ain't eight weeks now. Man, they looking so good. They done grown and matured so much, it don't make no sense. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, baby? Take care of your pup, should. There you go. She gonna be lonely in there by herself, especially when she start getting bigger. But yeah, man, these French Bulldog puppies, y'all, I'm telling y'all, they off the chain. They didn't grow, and they really looking good. So I'm about to show them to y'all right now. Yeah, man, like I told y'all, I was going to show y'all these Frenchies. They looking real good, y'all. They done grown and matured a lot. They eight weeks now. They're going to be starting to head to their new homes this weekend. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all this boy right here. Let me see. Big boy, look at this big boy right here. This big boy will be going to his new home this weekend. This boy right here that got super chunky. Look at him right here, man. He boned up, he got a dome on him. He looking real good. This is the lilac and tan Merle boy right here. Look at that, man, I love the, the mug on this boy. This is a, the Gladys and Lambo litter, y'all. My first French Bulldog litter. And as you can see, as you can see, man, we ain't come to disappoint, man. We ain't come to play no games. I'm loving the way this boy looking right here, man. Look at the chest on that boy. Like I said, he is a lilac and tan Merle. Love the mug on this boy. He got a beautiful head piece on it. His ears, uh, I'm, by the time he gets to his new home within the next few days, I have his ears standing up. I've been taping the ears up, so his ears will be standing all the way, all the way up perky like they should be. But as you can see, man, he got the tan points right here. He got tan points on his legs. I'm just loving how thick and boned up this boy is, man. My goodness, man. It's a proud production right here. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. Lambo ain't played no games, man. When our first French Bulldog litter, I went straight to Lambo because I knew he was gonna bring that structure, that bone and that body all the way down the pipeline, man. Next up, I'm gonna show y'all this boy right here. This boy is greedy, man. He the most greediest puppy out of this litter. He the troublemaker too, but look at this boy right here. This the split face chocolate and tan Merle boy right here. My goodness, look at this boy right here. Love the way this boy looking right here. He gonna be going to his new home as well in the next few days. Next weekend, actually, next weekend he'll be going to his new home. But look at that, man. He got that beautiful split face Merle. I'm starting to see more and more uh, Merles with that split face, but his going straight down the middle. It's just perfect on him. He got the tan points right here, as y'all can see. He got the tan points on his paws. This is a chocolate and tan Merle right here. Beautiful, beautiful boy right here. Beautiful puppy right here. Like I said, man, I'm super proud of the production out of this litter. For my first French Bulldog litter, man, I definitely ain't come to play no games. We already working on our second litter, man, and how we gonna come, how we gonna step for our second litter. Once again, I'm loving the head piece on this boy, just like the first boy I showed y'all. Lambo stamped us, man. He definitely stamped us, like I said. I wasn't just going for the Merle. I was definitely going for the structure play as well. Lambo got a wonderful head piece on him, and I can, and I can start to see it already on these pups. I don't know if they all gonna have it, but that's that's the, that was the goal for the breed, man. I'm going to just show y'all the three boys first, and then I'll show y'all the three girls. So this boy right here, man, he actually seemed like he going to make the cut, man. I was looking to sell all the boys that only keep females, but this boy done showed me something over the last uh, few weeks. Like I said, they eight weeks now, and, man, I don't think I want to let this boy go. This is a chocolate and tan Merle uh, male right here. You see he got beautiful eyes on him. He just remind me of his daddy, man. He remind me of Lambo so much. And so 
I'm gonna hang on to this boy. As you see, he's short and compact. He got the little short and stubby legs. Short back on this boy. Loving the way he looking, man. For my first French Bulldog litter, man. I really would just, all I can say is, man, I ain't play no games for sure. We ain't play no games with him, man. Y'all see the mug on that boy? His ears standing up beautifully. Y'all drop a comment. Y'all let me know. Two things. I want to know, should I keep this boy? And if I should, I definitely, definitely need a name for him, man. Because I've been thinking about names for him. And I just ain't came up with nothing slick. It got to be something slick, something catchy. His daddy name is Lamborghini, so that just give y'all a hint. I'm trying to go crazy with it, you feel me? Look at that right there, man. Look at that. Loving this boy right here. Loving this boy right here, man. He merled out. He merled all the way around. Like I said, this chocolate and tan merle right here. I'm not sure if these pups uh, carry testable chocolate, but I will be getting them DNA tested. I will be getting them DNA tested to see exactly what, what, what we got going on. For sure, for sure. Y'all bad. Okay, next up, I'm going to show y'all this girl right here. Man, I'm telling y'all, look at this girl. She's going to be going to her new home, too, next weekend. But this little girl, she a little short and compact, thick thing, too, man. Like I told y'all, we usually work the bullies, but just like the, the bullies, when it comes to the Frenchies, man, we ain't going to play no games. We want necks, we want shoulders, we want beautiful head pieces on the bulls, we want structure, we want all that. We want color, we want it all in a full package right here. Look at this girl right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loving the production, man. This is a... Uh, a pie ball blue and tan female right here. She got little tan points on the side of her cheeks right there. I'm sure y'all can see the little tan points. She is a blue and tan. My goodness. I'm just very, very happy with the production, man. That first litter, that first French Bulldog litter, man. We ain't played no games, y'all. We ain't played no games. My goodness. All right, I got two more pups. The next two pups I'm going to show y'all will actually be my keepers. This right here is one of my keeper females, Nike. I named her Nike. Man, I love the way this girl looks. She got a crazy face on her, too. Her mug is just beautiful, man. Like I said, that boy Lamborghini, man, he ain't come to play. I bred to him for a reason, and he came all the way through for me. He came all the way through. This is another chocolate and tan Merle female right here. My goodness, man. You can see the chocolate just all over her face right here. You know what I mean? If I turn her on this side, you can see the chocolate on her face right over her lips right there. She is just amazing, y'all. This is Queen City Bullies Nike. Like I said, she will be staying here at the camp. She will be a part of my new Frenchie lineup. She's super thick. Heavy, heavy girl right here. She boned up. I'm just loving what I'm seeing out of this girl. She got the heavy, heavy Merle patterns on her. I think she a tweed Merle, so she got a lot going on. She a chocolate and tan tweed Merle, so yeah, y'all see it, man. I want to know if they carry testable. I'm pretty sure they do, but only only way to find out is the DNA testing. So that's going to be one of the next things I do. His DNA test these pups, at least my keepers, to see, uh, to see uh, fully what I got. Because I got to know. I got to know, man. This right here is a lot of people's favorites out of the litter. This right here is my girl Chocolate Milkshake. As y'all see, she is a pie ball, chocolate and tan Merle. She got that chocolate cover in her face right there. I love the way her face looks. Once again, man, Lambo ain't come to play no games right here. This is the biggest girl out of the litter. As you can see, she thick as hell, y'all. She almost can't even be held by hand within the next two by in another month. I won't be able to pick her up like this She heavy man. She heavy Loving what I'm seeing on this girl right here, man. Oh, she got the tan points on her face Y'all see the cocoa and then the, the merle and the tan points creeping in on the side right here Then she got like a little merle shoulder right here And then she got merle on her back leg here and right on the uh, right here on her little tail man. Look at that man Look at that yeah, man, for sure. Like I said, this litter right here was not a disappointment at all. I was a little bit nervous, but this being my first time, you know, um, I didn't expect the litter to be this great. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like this litter was really a hit. It really was a hit. Everybody that's been seeing them, I've been getting real good feedback. Of course, uh, all puppies look cute. I know that from experience with the bulls. Um, but, man, what I'm seeing so far and just going off of, uh, you know, the parents, the pedigree and everything like that, I think we definitely on the right track. I think we definitely, definitely on the right track, man. I'm super, I'm super uh, excited and happy with what I got. These are my two girls right here. The last time I held them both by hand, they was way smaller than this, y'all. They was way smaller than this. Like I said, they eight weeks now. This is Nike and this is Chocolate Milkshake. Beautiful 
chocolate and tan merle females that I'm keeping here at Queen City Bullies. They're going to help me build out my French Bulldog uh, program. Y'all know I ain't giving up on the bullies. We're just going to uh, incorporate the French Bulldogs into the, uh, into the program as well. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for years. Um, I just, y'all know, I like to take my time with stuff, do my research, and try to do things the right way. I ain't want to just jump in the game like you see most people doing, and they don't really, uh, they don't really know what they're doing. So, let me show y'all this boy right here one more time Why he's going crazy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. This boy right here, like I said, I'm, I'm more than likely going to be keeping this boy. He ain't going nowhere. I need a name for him. Y'all seen Nike, y'all seen Milkshake. But this boy right here, he need a crazy name. I don't want no simple names, y'all. I want something freaky. I want something exotic. I want something catchy. I want something that's going to stick. Something that, that I can use to brand this boy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's important that when you got a stud, that, that you brand them. Or really, all your dogs. You know what I'm saying? So it's about marketing. It's about branding. And I'm looking for the right name for this boy right here. Look at that right there, man. Looking just like Lambo. For those of y'all that do know Lambo, matter of fact, I probably should post some pictures of Lambo while I keep talking about him so y'all can see the similarities from what I see in this boy and his daddy. When I look at his daddy and I look at him, I see a lot of similarities, man. He got big shoes to feel. He got big shoes to feel, but as you can see, he's short and compact. He got a short back. He thick. I got high expectations for this boy, man. We gonna see what he do, man. Y'all get them females ready for my boy, man. Hopefully he carry testable chocolate. He a chocolate and tan Merle, so I'm pretty sure his mom carry chocolate. And his daddy obviously was a chocolate and tan Merle, so I'm thinking they, they, they carry testable. But I'm new to this. I ain't just gonna assume some shit. I'm gonna I'm a, uh, get them DNA tested, and I'll let y'all know when the results come in. So y'all be on the lookout for that too. When I do uh, do the DNA test, I will record me swabbing them and everything like that so we can all kind of learn together and I'll show y'all the process of how it works. And then when the results come back, I'll do the same and share the results with y'all. Let y'all see what we got, man, because that's what it's all about. Look at this boy right here, though. This boy right here that's going to be going to his new home, I know for a fact he's going to make me proud. I know for a fact he's going to make me proud. All of them. All of them are. But this one right here, it's just something about it, man. It's something about him. Lilac and tan. The rest of the litter, all the other Merle's was chocolate and tan. He lilac and tan Merle. And he just his head piece is just a little bit bigger, a little bit more exotic, a little bit he got a little more rope. You know what I'm saying? So I'm anxious to see what that turned out like. Look at this boy right here. You you hyper big boy. Calm your butt down, big boy. Yeah. Man, I just fell in love with the Frenchies, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They just stole my heart. I don't know what it is. They so cute and cuddly. I just, I just fell in love with them, man. I had that first litter. The whole experience of having that first litter, y'all, it just really did something to me. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, big boy? What's up, big boy? I don't know. Like I said, the whole whelping and seeing them grow, how cute they is, and how they look when they get this age, and seeing them all just running around, I don't know. They stole my heart, man. So I'm going to continue to keep breeding them. And keep growing out my uh, French Bulldog program. Like I said, bullies will always be my number one priority. However, I have snuck my way into the French Bulldog game. And we finna kick the dough all the way down, y'all. Queen City Bullies, we checking out, man. I'm out of here. I'll get with y'all on the next one. Yes, sir.